Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. I shall be reviewing Astral by Henry Harrius and Mark Kirsten. Discovery's four computers now have primary control. Before we do this, usual stuff, like and subscribe if you like it and you want to subscribe to it. Have a look at onlinemagic.co. That's my membership site. There's hundreds of videos, all aspects of magic. Uh, we did a session on Gypsy Fred last night, which was not Gypsy Fred, that's not a person, um, Gypsy Thread even, uh, last night, which was good. So there's 165, 168 live sessions now, all uploaded with special guests and courses on all aspects of magic. Well, most of them. So have a look at that. So, Astral, this is another techie one. This is an iPhone app. Don't go anywhere. If you haven't got an iPhone, you should watch it anyway. Don't know why really, but you should, you should know about these things. You should be part of the conversation. So what this allows you to do is produce an item from a phone, but not just that, bear with me. Now I've been doing this for a while because I've been using R4D, RD4, R4D from Steve Sheridan for quite some time. And this works a little bit differently and it feels a bit different. So whereas R4D was customizable, you're pulling objects from Instagram and different places, there was a bit of work involved in getting to that point. I'm not saying it's difficult, but you've got to kind of take a bit of time with it. Uh, and I still love it, still use it, and I use this. So I, I do use both of them. What this does that's different is it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. And you can't just pull a item, an item out of a phone. What you can also do is force it. So Henry says for a while he was doing this, different ways of doing this. He would kind of force something with digital force bag and then pull something out of the phone. And it does look great. You know, I you know, I remember seeing Noel Quarter does a lot of this with iPads. It just looks so magical. And, you know, Charlie Caper doing his stuff with iPads. And I just think that moment when you pull an object out of the phone, it's great. And it's also super easy because they're not expecting it. So with this, at the moment, now knowing Mark, he's going to be developing this a lot, but at the moment it happens on your iPhone. It incorporates this idea with Siri, which is great. And if you've got inertia, you'll know what I'm talking about. You can force, it's actually easier than that, you can force an item from a list. Now the list at the moment is on a, a site that looks exactly the same as, a, well, Amazon, I can say it. It's not like I'm really famous, I'm going to get in trouble. So, so basically, you force something off Amazon and you say to Siri, hey Siri, oh, it's going to go off now, isn't it? Uh, show me those rubber bands and the item comes up on the screen and you can either drag the item off the screen, a little bit more difficult rubber bands, but with a coin, which does look brilliant, always looks brilliant. This goes back to the card from phone thing years ago, one of the early apps. Just looks great. Um, or you can do this thing where you, it kind of bounces off the screen. So it's a kind of I wouldn't say sleight of hand, but there's a move-ish involved in that, but super, super easy. Whenever you want, right, you're just going to give it one big thing like that, and yeah. whatever appears on top, all right. that's what we're going to use, all right? Okay. Just give it one big swipe. All right. All right. What's that? Polo mints. Polo mints. Yeah. Here, Siri, can I have some polo mints? Right. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll use polos like that. It comes with lists that are already there so you, you can already put a deck of cards out the phone a coin um rubik's cube you can create your own lists super easily now if you go on the facebook page there's people that have posted videos there's a video in the instructions of this with videos of henry showing you how to do it which is great but also how to create your own lists and that, the series gone off there uh and that's what I mean by it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. It's got this AI thing. So if you're doing a gig for a, a company and they've got any object you want to produce, you can quickly take a picture of it. The AI does the work for you, cuts it out, puts it in the thing. You can resize it, which is important if you want to make it look convincing, but that doesn't take long. And then you can put it in a list with a load of other things, creates this shopping thing, this site, and then you get them to scroll wherever it lands. Okay, you've landed on that. Now we're going to ask Siri for it and you pull out the phone. So everything is very easy, very visual. I don't know everything's visual in a way, but this is really eye popping and you're going to be up and running with it very, very quickly. Now, what I want 
from this, and I'm sure it happened, is for it to be a little bit more customizable. But that's because I've been doing this sort of thing for a very long time. Saying that, if you don't want to do the whole list fourth thing, you can put anything in there. So I sent a video to a friend of mine who is a quite well-known musician. I'll put the thing here. And there's these music boxes that are, are made of his songs. Hey Siri, show me one of them Richard Hawley music boxes. And I sent it to him and he phoned me up straight away and he was completely blown away by it. And it was so easy, it took minutes to set up. So I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. You don't have to do the lift force thing. And, you, and like I said, it's very, very easy to do that very quickly. You can even go off, boom, you're done. Just hit produce. When you open it up, you can either produce or force. If you hit produce, you literally just get your phone out, ask Siri for it, and it jumps out. I love it. It's such good fun. It's easy. You can get going with it straight away. Are they going to think it's an app? I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> whether people think it's an app. If they get that moment, they still haven't got a clue how it's done. You've got a mind reading thing. Loads of control over it. It's completely risk-free. It's never gone wrong. Um, it does everything for you. And I think it's a really, really fun thing. Sorry if you haven't got an iPhone. This is the way of the world at the moment. Um, there's some great stuff out there for Asteroid, Android. <laughs> That's a game, isn't it? Show me age. Um, well, it's not a game. It's a thing as well. But Oh, gosh. So that is Astral. There'll be things I've missed out. You'll have questions. Put them below and I'll go live and answer them as soon as I can. All right. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Henry, for making a very cool app for us all to use. And uh, use the links below to check it out. Cheers.